Today, we're diving into a paper that explores a more efficient way to create smaller language models. The paper, Compact Language Models via Pruning and Knowledge Distillation, proposes a method to compress large language models, LLMs, by pruning and retraining them with a fraction of the original training data. What are the main challenges associated with training a family of LLMs with different sizes? The primary challenge is the immense computational cost. Training each model from scratch, even for different sizes, requires vast amounts of data and computing resources. This becomes particularly expensive when dealing with multi-billion parameter models. So this paper proposes a more efficient approach. Can you explain the core idea behind their method? The paper proposes a two-step process, pruning and retraining. First, they prune an existing large LLM by removing less important components, such as neurons, attention heads, or even entire layers. This reduces the model size. Then, they retrain the pruned model using a significantly smaller amount of data, leveraging knowledge distillation techniques. That's interesting. Can you elaborate on the pruning process? What are the different types of pruning they explore? The paper explores structured pruning, where they remove entire blocks of weights at once. They consider four main axes, neuron pruning in feedforward layers, head pruning in multi-head attention layers, embedding channel pruning, and depth pruning, which involves removing layers. And how do they determine which components to prune? They use a novel activation-based importance estimation strategy. This method analyzes the activations produced by different layers and components to assess their importance. They use a small calibration data set to compute these important scores without relying on computationally expensive gradient calculations. That's a clever way to avoid the computational burden of gradient-based methods. What about the retraining process? How does knowledge distillation come into play? Knowledge distillation is a technique where a smaller model called the student, learns from a larger, more complex model called the teacher. In this case, the unpruned LLM acts as the teacher, and the pruned model is the student. The student learns by minimizing the difference between its output and the teacher's output, effectively transferring knowledge from the larger model. So the student model is essentially mimicking the teacher's behavior. What are the key benefits of using knowledge distillation for retraining? Knowledge distillation allows for efficient retraining with a fraction of the original training data. It also helps to preserve the knowledge and capabilities of the original model, even after pruning. That's a significant advantage. Can you elaborate on the specific distillation strategies they explore? They experiment with different loss functions, including kullback leibler divergence, KLD, and mean squared error, MSE. They also explore using intermediate states of the teacher model, such as hidden states from different layers, to further guide the student's learning. This sounds like a very detailed and comprehensive approach. What are the key findings of their experiments? Their experiments show that their pruning and distillation method can effectively compress LLMs while maintaining performance. They achieve compression ratios of 2 4x, meaning they can reduce the size of a 15b parameter model to 4b or 8b parameters. That's impressive. What about the performance of the compressed models compared to models trained from scratch? The compressed models, which they call Minitron, perform comparably to or even better than similarly sized models trained from scratch. They achieve this while using significantly fewer training tokens, demonstrating the efficiency of their approach. That's a significant improvement in terms of both efficiency and performance. Can you highlight any specific results that stand out? Their Minitron 8B model outperforms the Nematron 38B model and LL May 27B while using 40x fewer training tokens. It also performs on par with Mistral 7B, Gemma 7B, and Llama 38B. Their Mintron 4B model outperforms the Gemma 2 model and compares favorably to the Phi 2 model. These are impressive results. What are the key takeaways from this paper? The paper demonstrates that pruning and knowledge distillation can be a highly effective and efficient way to create smaller, more compact LLMs.
Their approach significantly reduces the computational cost of training a family of models with different sizes while maintaining or even improving performance. This paper offers a promising solution to the challenges of training a family of LLMs. What are the potential implications of this research for the future of language modeling? This research could lead to more efficient and accessible language models. By reducing the computational cost of training smaller models, it could enable wider adoption and deployment of LLMs across various applications and devices. It also opens up new possibilities for exploring the trade-offs between model size, performance, and efficiency. Thank you for sharing your insights on this fascinating paper. It's clear that this research has the potential to significantly impact the field of language modeling.